In this video, I want to show you how to take attendance in Zoom the fast, easy, and efficient way, and also the most reliable way, so that you can spend more time doing the things that matter and less time tallying names. Most of us are teachers, and due to COVID, we are in Zoom way more than we want to be, and for some of us, most of us, it's really important to know who was in the meetings and even for how long. I don't know about you, but my first few classes, people were going in and out of the Zoom room. It seemed like that doorbell was ringing constantly. The numbers were fluctuating. If I tried to take manual attendance at any given time, it would have been a nightmare. So let me show you exactly how to take attendance using Zoom quickly and efficiently. So this method is a method of taking attendance after the actual meeting. And it can sometimes take up to 30 minutes for this to happen. But as long as you give it about 30 minutes, you should be able to take attendance using this way. You're going to go to your main Zoom web portal. And then what you're going to do is go down here to reports. Within reports, you're going to click usage and underneath usage, you're going to see all the meetings and you can choose a select date. So you can see that I had three meetings today. And let's say I want to know who was in this epidemiology lecture and there are 44 participants, which is pretty weird because I only have 40 students in that class. So you're like, what's going on? I can click this and one, it counts you as a participant, so that's important to know. So you could click Show Unique Users. And what this does is if you scroll through, what you might see is that if someone leaves the meeting and comes back in, it actually shows them as a multiple user. So you're going to see that multiple times. So if you click Show Unique Users, it will condense them only to those unique users so it will not duplicate each person so now you could see all of your students who are in there and how long they were in the zoom room during that session so you could see a couple of my students were only there for two minutes and seven minutes and some were pretty short around 30 minutes of a 50 minute class so what you can do with this now is export the data and it downloads as a CSV file, which you can open up and then sync it to your gradebook or organize by alphabetical order or however it's going to make sense for you to take attendance from here. So hopefully this gives you a great idea on how to better take attendance in Zoom. Not only can you take attendance and get reports quickly, but you can also see how long students we're actually in the Zoom meeting. That way they don't just check in at the beginning and then leave and you would never know. So hopefully this takes one less thing off your plate and I hope it opens more time for you to spend doing something you love.